I've always been a digital artist since I was about 12 years old. I'm 26 now. That whole way, I, I've never really had the chance to just feel like I'm an artist, right? I've always been a digital artist. Getting into NFTs, it's really made it feel like, again, I'm just an artist. Like when I was put into traditional auction houses, and again, we're in a contemporary art gallery doing NFTs. It essentially just feels like a stamp of approval saying, hey, you're not just a digital artist, you're not just a commercial working, you are simply an artist creating art. So my Neuralink series is kind of just my general project where I just get to have fun with creating different cyberpunk related art. There's not one specific storyline, right? It's a very vague storyline of, of kind of a dystopian futuristic setting and kind of anything that I want to create just fits into that. I get an idea at some point and instead of sketching it out, I just get right to the computer and start blocking out a scene. The literal cubes in 3D space where I want compositions to happen. So the story behind the piece Game Over is, is going off the, the lines of the current times in crypto. So you're constantly having people yell, bear market, everything's over. Like, so this is my way of playing with that because I've been in NFTs for about a year and a half now and I've heard this so many times. It's just going on with that idea of everyone always saying everything's game over, go home when it's not. <laughs> So this Game Over NFT will also have a physical sculpture. It's not necessarily like the natural next step from digital art. I don't think all digital art needs to come into a physical setting. But with my art, it's very textural. I want it to feel like you could touch it uh, when you look at the artwork. So I think it does make sense to start to do a physical extension of it.